What is up everyone? I hope you all are having a great day and welcome back to The Walking Dead. This video will cover the entirety of the DLC 400 days. Here's what it's all about. Centered on a truck stop on Georgia Highway. This DLC episode for season 1 of The Walking Dead by Telltale Games tells five link stories of survival in the wake of the zombie apocalypse. From day one of the undead plague to 400 days later, The Walking Dead 400 Days offers more of the horror and human drama of Robert Kirkman and Telltale's award-winning series. Echoes of the choices you made in season one will carry over into 400 days, and the choices you make in 400 days will resonate in the season 2. Now, since I've played this game before, I can confidently say that the choices you make in 400 days aren't actually story altering. It really doesn't have that much of an effect on season 2. So, is it even worth playing then? Hell yeah it is. 400 Days does not focus on Clementine or Lee. It tells the stories of Prince, Bonnie, Wyatt, Russell, and Shep. By no means is 400 Days a perfect DLC. It disappointed a lot of us. People were expecting it to act as a bridge between Season 1 and Season 2, which it unfortunately didn't. Yes, these five mini stories are brilliant, but again, they really don't have any significant impact on the storyline. And you'll see why in season 2. In conclusion, 400 Days isn't as terrible as people claim it to be. It's enjoyable and intriguing. If you haven't played it already, I would definitely recommend giving this one a go. That's all I wanted to say. See ya. I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. Uh, I don't even I don't even know you, bro.
I can't believe these assholes are letting it's us not work. your fault. What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince. Justin's gonna make me. It's too hot for this shit. Vince, I'm making him hot now. Yeah, Danny, you're making me hot. <laughs> I knew it. I got that Latin heat you can't resist. Come here, boy. You guys ever gonna quit? How else we gonna pass the time? Hey, man. How about you open a fucking window? The prison bus, asshole. The window. Hey, door. Justin. Shit ain't See that right, guy man. in the beat up that truck? Shit ain't right. I'll bet he Come lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house. Life savings. Shit. I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey. How many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she, 15? Damn it, it ain't like that. You telling me there wasn't a star witness waiting around in your white van? I'm shocked. My lawyer's gonna be hearing tell about what, this. Tell you what, guys, He's gonna I have ain't your afraid to say it. Jobs when he I'm hears about really this. missing my girlfriend right now. I'm oh, guessing she's pretty pissed nerve, at you. Man. It's I worse swear, than that, man. She won't talk to me. Mouth. I haven't heard her voice in months. Really messing with me, like for real. Just let it go, man. I want to, but, you know, I love her, man. You should call her up when we get there. You gotta face that shit. You know, you're right, man. First call I get. Danny, I know you don't realize this because you're you, but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from White Collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? Hotter than hell up in here. I'm getting dehydrated. Hey. How about some water back here? Shut I up thought you took the there. stand, cried your eyes out. Telling you again. Didn't you lose your yeah, shit man, and tell them you didn't the know what you were up, doing? Or I'll set you I up. lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? Nah, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. What then? It just ain't right. Oh, give me a break. It's a tough call. Why do more time than you need to? Gotta stay clean, man. Says the criminal. You want to know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, uh... A pyramid scheme. Aren't those kind of... Shit? It was a really good pyramid scheme. Good shit is still shit. This was some pretty elegant shit. Hey, if nobody got hurt, no harm done. They'll get their money back. Most of it. How much did you make off with, anyway? Enough. So, like, a couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. God damn, boy! Oh, ho ho! When we get out of here, you, me, and Vince, we gotta go into business, know what I'm saying? You know, I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched a kid. Two kids? You touch a couple kids, Vince? I helped my little brother. They send you to prison for that now? He was in trouble. I had to help him out. I knew it was something stupid. You regret it, man? If you're saying what I think you are, I got respect for you, man. But that's a hard thing to carry, you know? Every day. But what are you gonna do? Yeah, I feel you. How'd they get you? Tossed the gun up on a roof. And? It was a good throw, and a roofer found it the next day. You, know you what gotta you be said. kidding me. This is cool man, you're bad luck, Vince. Punishment, man. Bad Violate luck, Vince! My motherfucking right. <laughs> that's not I'm bad. You, man. What do you think, Shut Justin? The fuck up. What the fuck are you gonna do about fuck it? you? Fuck me? <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker! Oh shit! Oh, man. What the hell is going on back Grab there? Grab knock it off! Hey, get in there, man! Got? Sit down, goddammit! Hey, let him go, man! Damn it, Crabtree! Don't let me come back! He's gonna kill him, Vince! Let the guard handle it, guys. Fuck that! We gotta get in there! You do not want to get in the middle of that shit, Danny. Motherfucker, Vince! 
We gotta do something. You know this ain't right. I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid ass. Where's her empathy, man? You can't do anything with these damn chains on. Shit. Crabtree, I'm warning you one He's last time. Man. God damn it. You gotta get in get there. Get yourself in there. Wake that shit Come up, on, man. man. Come on, boy. Get back there. Okay, asshole. Let him go. Get in between them, god damn it. He's gonna kill that boy. Crabtree? Last what warning. Do you need Don't you say let him go, god damn it. What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? God damn it, boy. Answer me back that there. That guy's still alive. Get those cuffs off him, man. What the hell was that? He, he made a move on me. I, I, I don't know. He made a move or you don't know? Which one? I, I don't know. You don't know? Jesus. This is crazy. Nobody had to die. This is what happens when you give guns to assholes. He's, uh... Fucking fuck! You gotta call someone, man! What? I'm calling this in. Don't... Don't call it in yet. Just... Just wait, okay? Just give me a damn minute! He might still be alive. Call a damn ambulance, man! I just need a minute! I need a minute to think. You ain't got a minute! Shut up, you hear me? Just shut your mouth! Okay, okay. Calm down. Take it easy. I'll calm down when you quit running your fucking mouth. Everybody needs to calm the fuck down. Situation's bad enough as it is. He's right. Let's all just take it down a notch, okay? You really want to pull that trigger again, son? Thanks, man. Can you believe this shit, man? No. We gotta find some way to get out of here. We can maybe get out through the front of the bus, if that cage door is unlocked. If we can get out of these chains. How are we gonna get out of here? What are you doing? Can't do anything until we get out of these damn chains. Maybe he's got the keys on him. Shit, if the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? He must have left them up front. Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, Hey, don't. buddy! What the fuck? God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking foot fuck you, man. We gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. That's not gonna hold. Vince! Fire the fucking gun! Yeah, 
No way! Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's gun? Well, what do you think's gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Vince, give me the gun! We gotta do this! Back off! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Vince! What the fuck? Sorry, man. Fuck you! Do it! Hurry! Justin's just gonna sleep. Do it again! Come on, let's go! the hell did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us. Or shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Who gives a shit? Just... Hurry up, Eddie! Here, man. Shoot! Get him, man! Look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole. I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. I can't see a damn thing out here. Man, I'm just, man, this is so fucked. Crashing into a cow ain't gonna help anything, Oh, man. shit! I should watch out for cows. Cows! Why didn't I think of that? When's the last time you saw a cow, dude? Okay. Bad example, but you could still hit something, man. God, I can't believe we're in this shit. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please, this road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He is fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in my life, Wyatt. What if there's something in the road? Doesn't matter. We gotta get the fuck away from those guys. They are A-grade fucking mental. It's about time. I will punch your eyes. See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. You think we're in the clear? 
not till we get out of this fog. Was that a pun? No. When did you start making puns? I said no, idiot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. What? See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. I don't see anything. Dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh my god, really? But is there any weed? You know, one time I was going out with this girl, right? Abigail. You remember her. She told me that when she was five, I think, her dad took her to the circus sideshow. They walked around for a while, saw the chick with two heads, saw a dude with lobster hands, some kind of monkey human with a dick for a face, I don't know. She also said there was a little girl in there the size of an apple, but I called bullshit on that one. The point is, she saw there was this guy standing in there, buck naked, and singing this weird... Are you even listening to me? The guy peed on her dad. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Did you get a look? I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on, man, say something. Was that a dude or not? What the... The fucking fog. This night is so fucked, man. I, I, I don't know. It was too fast, man. Man, don't say that. You have to know. Dude, you have to. Let's see if there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll, like, tell us one way or the other. That way we can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? Is that the mirror from the car? I can't tell from here. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh or rotten? It's part of a shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. What's that way out in the road? Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. Man, I'm really not seeing anything. Seriously, you think some piece of that guy made it into the glove box? Man, I don't know. Look, Wyatt, it was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't eat a burrito and get on a roller coaster, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. What about the guys in the truck? Man, fuck those guys. If that guy back there is alive, we have to help him, Wyatt. There ain't a lot of live dudes left these days. What if this guy is like the guys in the truck? He ain't gonna be much of a threat after we bounced him off the hood. Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. <sighs> Fine. I'll go. Give me the gun. Dude, I'm the one who got us into this. I'm the one who hit him. Should be me going. Then why did you ask which one of us should go? Oh, sorry. Next time I get into this exact crazy fucking situation, I'll figure out how I feel before I talk. Okay. Well. Shit. Okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Fine. Okay, cool. Good. This is good. We need to hurry up. You ready? Man, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. Dude, two seconds, it's over. All right, two out of three, right? Sure. One, two, three, go. Fuck! What are the chances of that? Okay. One, two, three, 
Go. Shit. All right, all right. Okay. All right. One, two, three, go. Shit. Stupid rock. Looks like it's me. Anything out there? I can't see a goddamn thing. Here, in case we need to get out of here quick. Way to go, idiot! Hey, Wyatt. I ate paint when I was a kid. Die. Shit, where the hell did they go? This is the smallest hoopty in the world. Got like 60 miles left, I think. Ain't shit. <clears throat> Ugh, 63 miles to go. Hey! You getting up? Good. Should probably hurry. Shit, shit, shit. I see you cuddling with your girlfriend down there. Shit, bro. I don't want no trouble. Please. You just want to be left alone with your friend down there? No, just leave me alone. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't. What's your name? Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? 
Because you steal from me and I'll get your throat out. I don't care who you run around with, you understand? I'm not in a gang. It's fucking racist, man. Hey, now, I ain't no racist. I just call them like I see them. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. Ain't gonna wait forever. Nah, I'm good, thanks. I don't wanna ride. Jesus. Don't be so damn sensitive. I said I'm good. Fine. Change your mind? Hell yeah, get in, let's tear it up. Name's Nate, by the way, thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. I'm straight, thanks. You're not uptight, are you? This is the fucking apocalypse, this is like... nothing. No, I'm just good, all right? All right, all right. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? Must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. No, uh, tail. Damn. I retract my question. There was a girl who I liked, all right. The argument's semantics, Russ. Give a pal the deets. All right. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They're all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. Leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. We found survivors, it was the same every time. He... he... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take their stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead! Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. The weeks of it... I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rat? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. Put it right in here. Why you gotta be like that? Like what? Always talking about women like that. Women? <laughs> okay, well, let, let me see if I can answer your question. Because, because the hunger a man's got for a woman is all we got left now. No laws, no jobs, ain't nothing that make us men. But they ain't eating all the women yet. Whatever. Let's try this again. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah! She was slamming before she was rotten, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Fuck! Ah! Like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Oh, help! If you say five, I'm gonna flip. Fuck! Tell me, Russ. You load that, bullets in the glove.
Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. I. Oh shit! Go! Get out! Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! I'll get fucking shot! No, you won't! I'll cover you! This guy can't hit the broadside of a barn! Just move your ass! Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. I should have come with you. Well, it's too fucking late now. You need to relax, Russell. Come on, kid. Look at me. Russell, get your shit together. There is no getting out of this right now, okay? Okay. Now help me out here. First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Down! See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we fucking get him. All right. Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Shit! Just keep pushing! the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously this time. I'm not fucking around. You gonna cover me? If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. If you wanna go first, that's fine too. I'll go first. Atta boy, Russ. All ass. Shooting, I'm coming. Now what? We get over there and we should be good. Go. yet let's see if we can get in around back sneak up on this ass follow me man what are we doing well we gotta get in there fucker shot at us russell relax man when this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home-cooked meal, all right? Come on. Watch out for that. What's the problem? We should put it out of its misery. It's fucking dead. Come on. Feel like a big man now? Let's go. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow me. You got it. All right. We're gonna be fucking quiet. We're gonna sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a 
fucking people. Let's go. I see him. Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. I think I saw a guy. No shit. Grab him. I'll cover you. Why oh, sneak up? Just jump out, grab him. Your call. Walt! Ow! Oh. Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food. You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. Shut up. She can see who took her from me. We've never been here, sir. Then who shot my wife? Wasn't us. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? I'm done. That's it, man. I don't know you, and I don't want to. Can't you take a fucking joke? Fuck your jokes. I'm sorry. I'm out. Come on. Can we still be friends? No. Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? Can I control this snake, or does it have free reign? Free reign? Well... I'm thinking. Think harder. How exactly do you think harder? Good point. I'll think about that. Snake tongue. Gross. What? How is it more gross than lobster hands? Well, for one, it's in your mouth. Hey, you asked the question, Haas. Okay. How about... Oh, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Though, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. What I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. Thanks, jerk. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Oh, to remind me how hideous I was. Nah. Make sure you keep on keeping on. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. 
You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? Slow down, Leland. Bonnie, I... Leland? Bonnie? D. Hey, honey. I found us something. What are you two up to? Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh, uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters? Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. That ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. Thought you, didn't I? I am a catch. Don't I know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your, uh, girlfriend, but, uh, we gotta get moving. Does she think we... So, where'd you get the bag, D? D? D, did you hear me? Keep up the pace, you two. Just drop it, Leland. Hey, D, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, D, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Damn it, Dee, you gotta give us more than that. Was anyone there? I don't think so. You don't think, or you don't know? Those mean the same thing, Leland. Just tell us, baby. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month! All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False! This is how all our fights go, every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. The but you are the one who made down. me stop. Here, regardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Attitude? And now we're standing in this goddamn rain. You're gonna draw every goddamn dead thing from my no nowhere place. You listen to me now. I have had it up to I here with listening to you. To blast me. I can't believe you are still religious after my what we've been through. Some... Leland, that's enough. It's obvious you can't win this one, so why even bother trying? Bonnie, I appreciate you trying to help, but let me handle this, all right? Thank you. Bonnie, finally, someone makes some damn sense around here. Bonnie, darling, I'm I'm sorry we're darling. D, come on, save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours too. D, now's not the time. Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. It's always later. What are you saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. Well, come on now, D. No reason to pick a fight. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on, we gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. Wait up, yo!
Where are you? I don't see shit out here. Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. <laughs> Mama, watch over me. Okay, Bonnie. Stay calm. Find a weapon. Uh. Uh. B -b Bonnie. Why? Do... do... do I love you? How bad is it? Why didn't you say anything? You... you should have said something! You... you did this. Oh, God, you killed me. You... you killed me! Anybody see anything? I should it's never... Dark out here. trusted you. Just... Leland, she, she did this to me. I, I didn't mean to do this, Dee. I swear to God, I didn't mean to. You, you love him. I saw seeing him. Look at you. I, I, no, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. It's just a friend. I didn't mean to do this, Dee. I swear to God. You fucking junkie. Spread out. It can't be far. Dee. Dee, did you find her? Honey, I, I thought they got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? Dee. God, what happened? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh, my God, Dee. Darling, what happened to you? Your face? Her face, Bonnie. I had to. I, I thought you would... Would... What do you mean, Bonnie? What was that you just said? It really was an accident, Leyland. It, it really... You did this? You did this to my Dee? She came out of nowhere. I thought she was one of them. I, I didn't see her until she was right there. I don't... I don't believe this. I don't understand. How did it happen? Jeff, you see something? I just don't. Come on! Bonnie, why? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Leland. Bonnie. Back this way! Oh, I no! Feel sick. You're going! Which way? There! Sorry. Do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. Call out if you see this him. way. We can't stay here forever. I think I saw something over here. We can't take her with us. If she's gonna die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind.
Michelle, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this? What do you think that does to a kid? I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I want her to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? If Roman approves it, I don't see why not. Seems like fun. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. How we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. What? Nothing. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. This hasn't worked in a long time. Smells good. Still can't believe Clive got this thing working. So much nicer than having to eat raw food all the time. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. Oh, you 
scared me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. It's disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. do that again whoa what's your problem I do this all the time you don't get all pissed off I'm sorry it's it's just the watchdogs I guess they found a, a puppy a puppy yeah I guess it just got to me you know it was it was so little you don't think about babies anymore but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right. But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca... Something's going on outside. What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on. We gotta find Roman. Let's mop them. I'm so care to be Jeez. Largum. La My God. La Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. What did he take? Food, medicine, whatever he could get his hands on. Usual stuff. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck it's in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on but his what way. what if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? Boyd's right. We should just let him go. Why? Look at the poor bastard. We've all done the same thing trying to survive. We don't have to be responsible for him, but we can give him some food and let him take his own it's chances. It's not about his chances. It's about ours. What's to stop him from coming back and armed next time? 
We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boy, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he He gonna... can't even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. We can find a way for him to help. <sighs> well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. We stole their boat from that teenage kid at gunpoint. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. You're right. It's got to be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, Give him got? some food. When? Three or four what cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying. But you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again. Or tell anybody where we are. You wish you had died today. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Go fish. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you, uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? I don't know. 
Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing, and then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident you've made this place feel i don't know oppressive we've made it safe she was definitely trying to escape she had most of our ammo and medicine with her she screwed us shell all of us and now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go you do know why i'm telling you this right no you and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. But we did. He was wrong, and now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now, and I need to know that you're with us 100%. Let's talk to her first, see if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be our last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't. I just want to get it over with. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. 
Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Shell, hey! Shell, be safe, I promise. We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Well, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. Far so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't you bit! Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought, you know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Why? Look, we need people, plain and simple. And you folks can decide if you want to come as a group or split up or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Well, I'm going. Maybe we should go too, sis. If Roman is still looking for us, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there. There's no way that guy is still looking for you. We've been to that truck stop. There's no one left. Roman's not a problem. Following her, that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, but what else is there? If you guys are going, then so are we. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, 
We turned out all right, didn't we? Relatively speaking. You clearly outnumber me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I have to. I'm, I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. It's a safe place for everyone. Criminal activity isn't tolerated within our walls, period. You don't have to worry about bandits or walkers or anyone else. We look out for each other. Is that clear? Yeah, clear. I don't know. I don't really believe in safe places. Not anymore. I know it's hard, but this is your only chance. We're not going to be out this way again for a long time. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. 